Neither team scored over three minutes and change until that Carroll bucket. And it's 97-95, Brooklyn. Beal to the hole. Foul on Allen. He would not allow Beal to jam it. A nicely drawn up play there by the Wizards. And Beal. One out of two. One point game. 155 remaining in the fourth. The Nets are 10 and 15. They didn't win their 11th game of the season until March the 6th in Memphis last season. Dinwiddie drives on Sadoransky. Spin, shot clock winding down. Lavert fires. No good. Porter grabs it. Big board for Porter. Washington trying to go in front. Smith the high screen. Beal leaning jumper. No. Dinwiddie flies in for the rebound. A minute 18 on the clock. Great job by Dinwiddie not getting caught up on that screen. Still able to contest that three by Beal. Dinwiddie directing traffic. Kenny Atkinson calls out a play. High screen Allen. Oubre works around it. Now a switch. Dinwiddie against Smith. Dinwiddie. The jumper. Back of the iron. Dinwiddie settles. I'm going to keep going back. The middle of the floor is wide open. Beal attacking. He gets it to go. Washington up by one. Timeout Brooklyn. Bradley Beal with 28 points. Dinwiddie. A switch. Crab. That's a three. He's got it. Alan Crab. A wide open look. And the Nets up by two. Timeout Wizards. Alan Crabb makes it when it counts. And how do you like that for Kenny Atkinson drawing up the play coming out of that timeout, understanding that they were going to switch Jason Smith onto Spencer Diddy, Dinwiddie. But watch here. Ball comes in bounds. Spencer Dinwiddie, you're going to get the screen from Jared Allen up top. But they go one more. A dribble drag over for a wide open Alan Crabb confuses the Washington Wizards defense. One more look there. Smith late to get out and contest it. And that's a shooter for you. Allen Crabb has struggled from the three-point line prior to that shot. Just two of 13. But when it matters most, nice, smooth release. Knocks it down, and the bench certainly loves it. 43.8 on the clock. The Nets 100, the Wizards 98. Washington with one timeout remaining. And the M.O. for the Wizards has been Bradley Beal. Normally looking to go towards the rim, but certainly Beal a threat from the perimeter as well. And the question here is going to be, do they double Bradley Beal? Do they sec send a second guy onto him? You have to be very smart in your rotations if you do that. The Nets haven't done much of that all game, just depended on one-man assignments on Beal. But to your point, he's a threat to get to the basket, but is also, of course, has the ability to shoot the three. Beal will be the trigger man, and Lavert will guard the inbounder. Beal tosses in for Smith. Gives it back. Beal, the jump shot. No! Hollis Jefferson the board! The Nets with a two-point lead. 32 seconds left. Nets looking for the knockout punch. Dinwiddie against Sadoransky. High screen from Allen. Dinwiddie the jab set. Shot clock is down to five. Carroll floats it up. Off the back of the iron. Allen trying to grab it. Oh, it's Hollis Jefferson with the board. Clears it for Dinwiddie. You got a foul if you're the Wizards. Scott Brooks screaming for that from the sideline. The question will be, did the Nets get a timeout or was the foul called beforehand? Kenny Atkinson was looking for a timeout. Damari Carroll was motioning it. Kenny Atkinson knew that Washington was looking to foul. Dinwiddie is fouled with 8.8 .8 by Oubre. Excellent job by the net spreading. 6% on the season. First one. Rims out. So Allen and Hollis Jefferson check in for rebounding purposes. The Nets. Dinwiddie. It's good. Sadoransky. Looking. Sadoransky throws it to Beal. Held it. Five second call. The Wizards turn it over. Sadoransky got Beal for an open look, but it took too long. 
situation. Lavert buries the free throw. 102-98 Nets. The Nets lead by five. Kenny Atkinson telling his team back off. Beal to Gortat, three seconds, two seconds. Beal's shot is off the mark. The Nets hold 